Well, welcome to a, another real hunting vlog. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of what, what I'm doing to get ready for the over-the-counter archery deer season in Arizona. Um, I'm going to kind of show you a few of my different setups. Um, I got my buddy Jeremy and we're going to go and replenish some salts. Just kind of check some stuff. We didn't hunt here last year just because it was so dry. Um, so we're a little interested to see um, what's going to be here this year. And sometimes when we walk up to the salt, there's there's some deer sheds in the salt. We found, found two in the salt. So as we walk up to the deer salt, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll record the just in case we happen to find something interesting. What's up, real gang? Uh, I would have started filming a long, a long time ago, but I'm out here on the coast enjoying the beautiful weather, but fishing is slow. This is like the most slack tide, not slack tide, this is the lowest tide we've had in a very long time. And we've had so much rainwater that the salinity levels in the bay is so low that uh, I think all the fish pushed out into the ocean, so we're not catching a whole lot right now but I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know what the bins are up to. Uh, I know Sandal went in, um, replenished some salts, and keep you guys updated if we catch any fish. But we're trying to catch dinner. It's not working out too well. As you can tell, the sun's going down behind me. It's beautiful, but uh, the fish just aren't cooperating. So I just went and caught a bunch of mullet in the cast net uh, for later, maybe tomorrow. We got all kinds of mullet, little lady fish right there and some more mullet and a bunch of cut mullet in that bag but they're not one to bite anything we got fresh fresh bait dead bait cut bait shrimp uh mud minnows and finger mullet so i'll keep you guys updated hopefully catch a few fish what's up you guys welcome to another real hunting video i'm not sure what you've seen so far but i am here in park city utah at another total archery challenge event this seems to be my life this time of year, but I'm headed up now. Canvas cutter booth is up here at the top, up by the practice course, so I'm gonna go shoot the practice course. More prep for the hunts. Shot a little bit yesterday, and the bow's shooting really well, but if you haven't seen these events, check this thing out. They got like a market down there, all kinds of vendor booths and stuff. Some over here, and some up top where we're headed. It's mid-July right now. We have about 30 days till the archery deer hunt starts so just over a month actually so it's longer about 40 days um, so far we've seen one good buck looks like he's gonna be a good buck uh -huh. and he was bedded and so far lots of deer sign we've gotten a lot of rain this year so it should be good last year was so dry There are dead pine trees everywhere. Let me show you. So, that's, that's our tree stand tree. Look at all the dead, the dead pines. We jump something off as we come up to it. Usually this thing fills up with the water when we get a little bit of rain. And uh, it's pounded. It's obliterated. Deer have been destroying it. Oh my gosh. So it's not full, there's not water. But look at this. Look at this. This is all deer. That big old white tail, because white tail track. Oh, what the? All oh, deer track. Even see any bear tracks. Usually there's bears. That's looking pretty nice. <laughs> if there was a coot, or look at this boulder, it's dude, we could get that boulder out now. Yeah, the boulder. Yeah, we let them dig it out so we didn't have to. Yeah, <laughs> buck tracks. Dang, dude. Wow, this could be really exciting this year. Uh, it's so muddy though. There could be an antler buried in there. We just don't know. All right. Well, 
Let's set up salts and uh, get the cameras out. We but, might have to do some tree stand maintenance. Yeah. The, the seat in the one, it's on the ground over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dang. Well, we're, we kind of do a little loop because we've always find, we always find sheds close to the salt because the deer spend so much time here. So we're gonna do a little loop, replenish the salt. All right, so we made it up here to the practice course. This is the practice course, of course. And this is the place where we were last night shooting. So I think we'll do a little competition up here maybe, see who can shoot maybe the best group, the most lethal group, some of these 3D targets. So the way these total archery challenges work, there are courses set up all over these mountains. You can sign up and you can go shoot them and work your way down back to this spot. But since we're always working booths, we decided just to come shoot the practice course. So we got the crew here with us today. That's my boy Derek Chester. You guys know Derek? He's got a YouTube channel called Eric Chester. I don't know why. And uh, also from the Hush Now that if we get the deal done, YouTube will be I got peaches too. Liquor. So we got a three shot uh, group. Me and Eric are going to see who can shoot a better three shot group. On the buck at 30. It's just like a nice, easy start. But cold shots, I've been just not not where I want to be. How's your zoom on this? It's decent. Oh, nice, dude. It's got a nice little zoom. make <laughs> Uh, Alright, I mean, I don't hate it. Three yeah, that's shots, pretty three good. yards to start. That's pretty Whole good. Shots, that freaking cheat codes over here with the Garmin. Yeah, it's like heat seeking. He tells it exactly where he drops the pin and where he should put it. Center of center. Hello. Hard shot. Oh, that must, I think that's the, you gotta, you the gotta sun flare on the. In case they duck. Yeah. You know? Oh, totally. Yeah, you anticipated the duck. I mean, it's a white tail. Like uh, Hunter Safety, or is this like, I'm going to go get an energy drink? You want on this guy? Yep. <laughs> That's why, dude. That's why, dude. <laughs> Look at the group he's got going yeah, over here. Doesn't even have a field tip. That's one, two. That's one. Get your other one there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Best Reset. group of the day. Okay. Three. That's, That's probably group. it's probably group. best group right there. EC money. Group therapy on the white tail buck. Hit an arrow. I did hit an arrow. Followed my arrow. All set there. Good shot. Right. That was right to my left. Just... I'm too healthy, bro. I'm too Listen, guys, I, I feel like I'm in there on the group with you guys. I mean, boys, it ain't even close. I mean, what about, what are these? What are those guys? Can you tell me what that is? Down sat on the bench, dude. That's a good, that's a good chip. But if we were to, if we were to move that circle down, like right here, like. I mean, you're touching. You're got touching. Some, some touchies. You're bumping uglies, for sure. We're, so, we're close. I'm going to get in the argument here. You have two close. Okay. So do I. You have a floater, and so do I. But but as so if we go now now we opt to but the distance closest of, your of two because the floater we, we pull the floater out we and we go to. He blew it up with like I'm not willing to accept base. this as a defeat. So, in the comments, <laughs> tell me who you think won. <laughs> your boy with the orange fletches. That's who won. Here we go. <laughs> Shed crazy versus hush life panther one arrow challenge. One arrow challenge. Yep. Fifty yards. Let's go. Well, that's pretty good. High shoulder. He's not going anywhere. Wait a sec. Who's got my arrows? No, those are all mine. <laughs> I didn't realize I had some money. This one's the, this was number one right here. <laughs> Snap that, that crap off. Those are some good shots. Yeah, they're all right. 
my group. Hold on. What are we shooting? Seventy six. That's what I was getting. Let's see. All right. So this is realistic hunting scenario. Where is he? Where is he? Back there. I mean, it does not get any better. That was pretty good. Folks. That was a beautiful shot. Congratulations, Seth. Thank you. <laughs> right next to mine, bro. <laughs> oh. It don't. It don't get any better. This no, it doesn't. Light, so. <laughs> oh my god. Those are pretty. Yeah, that's exciting. Seventy-six. Well, background on this. What we do is we put salt on the ground. Just throw a block there. We'll kind of hit it so that it kind of breaks up. So we'll bust it up a little bit, and then it rains and then it soaks into the ground. Oh, is that an antler? Been laying there for two years. Are you kidding me? Right over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe. No, three that's years. more like four or five years. <laughs> that's chalk, dude. It's been sitting there for how long? Wow. You can have it. Yeah, I, I uh, can't say I'm super motivated to take that thing out. <laughs> okay, so back to this. So we put salt on the ground, it rains, the salt soaks into the dirt. And then the deer have just eaten the dirt. That's why these rocks are kind of getting exposed, these boulders. So they eat the dirt, and that's how this big hole gets created, is by them eating the dirt. So um, we've just kind of, yeah, I mean, we've been, so salt's, salt is legal in Arizona, but you can't, uh, you can't use like regular baits or anything like that, like putting apples out. Um, and different things. So, um, anyway, oh, there is a bear track. Look at that. I knew I was gonna find a bear track. So that's a bear track. It's a paw, toes. Yeah, I'm sure there's a couple of big bears around here. Bear season opens up August 6th. Anyway, so we'll set this salt up and then, and uh, Jeremy's making a loop right now, trying to find a shed, see if he can find one. We're gonna set the camera up probably on. Our normal tree which is right there whenever you're setting up cameras you want them to point north um, to just avoid any sun glare it's a little trick for you okay that's what we got keep it off the ground a little bit because we don't have bear boxes on those and if it's right in front of the bear's face it tends to mess with it so we've uh, moved the salt kind of reestablished a new salt over here uh, mainly because this is going to end up filling up with water and we don't want to want to give the deer at least usable water and not salt water so um yeah kind of just let that be and then start a new one here the camera's the camera's in line with it so you know we'll see what happens we got to come back and do some tree sure tree stand maintenance um but uh we're actually feeling pretty geek motivated about this year. Could be really good. Oh, I didn't even record that. That whole thing I didn't record. All right. So I had thought I'd just been videoing this whole time. And I even did this sweet little antler pickup and everything. But I never recorded it. Oh, alligators are freaking deer. Yeah, they like to bed right there. Or I missed that opportunity at like that 100 inch coos. <laughs> I had the 105 buck right over here, right around that tree. Yeah. 20 yards. It's a good spot. Okay, okay, this is this is how it usually goes for us, okay? I'll find junk, I'll find the, I'll find this stuff because it's white and it glows. We literally walk in. And Jeremy, we're standing right here. Jeremy's like, oh, right there. Freaking nice coo shed. Brown from this year. Big old eye guard. Oh, dang. Pick that up and show it to me. Yeah, dude. I mean, he's drowned up puke from last year, but big old eye guard. 
Dude, he could be good this year. Yeah.